Joining us now, it's the duo from Music from the Heart. We have Rob and Patty Mead here. Welcome to the show. How are you both? Thank you. Hi, oh, great. great. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. So we, we call this um, Friends and Family Day, right? Sometimes mm -hmm. because uh, we've had Joe DeFelice's parents on. We often give shout outs to Amanda's uh, mother, Carmen, because she loves the Hallmark Channel. Um, but I thought yeah. it would be fun to have you both here. One thing I know about your wonderful musical family is that you usually try to do a music video every holiday season. Yeah, so can we, we talk about that? So, so, certainly. so the Meads are here. Yeah. So yeah, the yeah. parents of Will. So, well, well, actually, Will, uh, it was his idea to begin with. And, uh, you know, because we're basically, uh, you know, we're a fun loving group as far as that goes. You know, we're, we're cool with, OK, what do you want to do? We'll do it. You know, so uh, he says, yeah, we'll shoot a video. We'll do this. We'll do that. And we put it together and it became so popular on, on the Internet that it became uh, every day. You know, it was like, oh, what do you want to do next year? What yeah. do you want to do next year? And it keeps Fine. getting bigger and bigger. And um, Unfortunately, COVID kind of shut that idea down for a little while. We were but... just on pause. We were all on pause for a little while. So in 2023, I'm expecting to see a new uh, holiday yeah. music video from the Meads. <laughs> I'd love uh -oh. to do one. So now you guys have been together for a while, over three decades. And yeah. who asked who out first? I want to know about the moment of love, how that happened. Oh you want to handle man. that one or shall I? So okay. it was New Year's Eve, right? And um, I was engaged to be married and uh, I was not very happy. And it was 12 o'clock and we were splitting. We were at the Huntington Townhouse. We were splitting bands that night. We had off at the 12 o'clock hour. So I looked over and saw Rob. He looked very lonely. I walked over to him and I said, do you want to dance? And we danced to All Blank Sign. It's very romantic. This is romantic. Um, it's a film in itself. I yeah. know. And then I really fell. I fell head over heels for him, like in, in that moment. Something and magical happened. P.S. Before that, we had worked together for years and we didn't care for each other. Really? So well, it was hard to get along. Yeah, he know. tried to get me out of the band. It was it was rough. <laughs> really? But because yeah. I was very different than he was. And I still am. And that's what kind of makes us click, I think. Yeah. Well, I know that Will, I think Will is really talented, your son Will. And I know he's not your only child. You have other children too, right? So yeah. tell us about your whole family. Oh, they're all musical. Um, yeah. We have, uh, Will has an older brother and sister, and he has a younger sister. And every one of them plays and sings. And, yeah. uh, you We're know, they. Into performing. One of them, my, my oldest daughter married a musician. They're down in uh, Tennessee, in Nashville, mm -hmm. uh, working. And, uh, you know, there was always music in the family. When I was a kid, my parents uh, had a band. And that's how my father met my mother. Really? Yeah, she was a piano player. She was studying to be a concert pianist. And uh, my father had a band with his brothers, you know, and uh, they were called yeah. the uh, Musical Meads. And they did colleges and stuff like that. He asked her in the band, and the next thing you know, they're married. So. Now, as a duo, you guys perform quite often. You do all different gigs all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you enjoy most? I mean, do you come up with the same set list? Do you mix it up a little bit? Oh, well, no, we mix it up a lot. But okay. uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too no, much. Okay. Uh, I, I, so so I, I love songs from the 60s and 70s. Uh, we do write some of our own stuff, too, and we perform different places on Long Island with that. But Yeah, one but, of the places yeah, you know, uh, Samantha's. Oh, yes, uh, absolutely. Yeah, she, she's been on the show, hasn't she? Yeah, yeah. and I also yeah. noticed um, one of the things, and I know you, you did it a while, but there was a song that was called uh, Bring Them Home, and it was uh, meant for POWs and MIAs, and yeah. you know, that's a touching story. Somebody that wrote the lyrics was actually their parent was still missing. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, he wrote a poem, and then I got a phone call and said, do you think you could put it to music? I said, yeah, I'd love to try that. Uh, when do you need it by? He said, tomorrow it's going on the radio. That's oh. right. So I called my night. friends and musicians and, and Patty, and we said, let's just go in there and, and yeah. cut this thing. So it was like 2, 3 in the morning. Yeah. Cut Good. the song. By 8 o'clock in the morning, it was on the radio. So it was interesting. Yeah. And then it went into different libraries, mm -hmm. and it was played at different events, you know. It's lovely. Uh -huh. um, and the other cool thing is, is that I looked, and you have like this who's who of people that you've worked with before, like, you know, the Drifters, the Shirelles, Chubby Checker, the Platters. So you were doing something also with Regis Philbin, which sounded like yes. it was exciting. Night of 100 Stars or something like that. That's what was right. that? Yeah, so I was in, a, I was in a, sh a Broadway show, and we got selected to be Night of 100 Stars, where they picked all these different shows, and we came on to the um, Schubert Theater on stage, and we did just little parts of our shows. So that was, I was in a show called What's a Nice Country Like You Doing in a State Like This? Fun. For about four years. It was an off-Broadway show. And you also did, I did Joey and Mary's Irish Italian Wedding, but you also have a connection oh, with boy. Tony and Tina. I was in that show too, yeah. Did yes. you not love dinner theater? I love dinner theater. I, I think it's so fun. You know, sometimes, you know, 
people like, oh, la, la, la. You know, it's like sometimes yeah. people put down being an extra in, you know, when you want to become in SAG or after. But everybody yeah. starts somewhere. And sometimes it's just fun to go out and use the talent that you have. It is. Right? right. It was very improvisational. That's what I loved about it. Because you didn't have to stick to the script. It was an outline. But you, you had the freedom to just really be whatever you wanted to be in the moment, which was a lot fun. of fun. Now, who sings around the house more? I'd say Patty does. Patty <laughs> yeah. does? Okay, yeah. what's your go-to singing around the house song? Um, well, I sit at the piano a lot, and I do a lot of vocalizing <laughs> with the dog, and my dog can sing. Your dog <laughs> My <laughs> dog, Donovan, <clears throat> comes to the piano with me, and he sings, and he does go up the scale and down the scale. It's amazing. But I like to do that. But I like singing a lot of songs, again, from the 60s. Okay. I like putting on the radio and listening to, like, downtown. And a lot of church okay, songs. Let me sing. Uh, da 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 you know, um, on the radio, I usually listen to 10, 10 wins because I want to find out what's going on in the world. Yeah. But then I immediately always switch it over to music. Yes. Yeah. So. And speaking of therapeutic, um, we, we are doing on a daily basis. We go around to many of the um, communities like the Bristol's and the Atria's and the Arbor's and we play for the folks there and they're. They, it brings them a lot of joy. It is therapeutic for them because once we start playing the music, you can see that they can they relate to it right away. In 2022, we played over 200 shows yeah. at places like that. Yeah. And it's the most rewarding thing we've done, you yes. know. When it comes to the whole history of us playing together, you know, we, we played so many different a lot venues. Of different things, and, HBO. And, and the theaters in the and city and stuff. But this is more rewarding than all of it. Well, uh, congratulations yeah. on your joyful, heart filled. A journey. Uh, yeah. Do you bring tambourines and maracas and yes. a little bit of a keyboard? Uh, mm -hmm. Are there like props and things like that? Yeah. Well, we play, you know. Yeah. So I play guitar and everything, and we play tambourine. But sometimes they give it to the people there and they let them play along. Fun. I can't wait to see a show with you guys. <laughs> oh, Continued man. success on your lovely, thank beautiful you so marriage much. and thank you. just your joyfulness and. Uh, and thank you for giving birth to Will because, like we, he, you know, he's a real asset on our team. Yeah, he's so. okay. Yeah, he did all right. Yeah. And you know, and he light he, his lighting job today. I thought was beautiful. I even told oh. him. I said the trees look green. Everything is like spot on. But yeah. he probably knew that it, you guys were coming in. You know, and plus the parents. For, it was special yeah. for the parents. All right. Uh, stay tuned for more. We've been living it up with our meads. There are meads. <laughs> Be well.